Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds, hanging out with this nerd. Ted. And today we're going to test our luck as we draw from many decks of things. Hey, jump down to the description below where you can sign up for Nerdarchy the newsletter. It's a great way to get gaming tips as well as learn how to game with us. Not too long ago, or maybe a while ago, I don't really remember, but you know, floating around here somewhere is a little icon that you can click and it will let you know. But what it will let you know is we did a video about the deck of many things. So I want to link to that so you guys can check that out. But speaking of decks of many things, Gemhammer Games had sent us a bunch of decks of many things. They had done a Kickstarter, it kicked successfully. Yeah, you're gonna run, just keep coming. You're gonna run out of hands and fingers and stuff. So yeah, so there's a there's a bunch of them. So if you go to gemhammer.com, you can uh, pre-order pre-order pre the, these things. There's bundles and packages, and there's even a couple of things that we're not gonna go over here that are on their site. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, yes. Um, so we figured we kind of we would open these up, take a look. Uh, I, you know, I remember having a, I remember having a conversation with these guys vaguely uh, through email. It might have been a couple months ago, and I guess they said they were going to send us some stuff, and they did. Uh, so this arrived the other day, and I'm like, "What is in this box?" And I'm like, "Oh, lots of decks of many things." So you've got the deck of many things, which is very much like what's in your dmg it's got all, all of the the different options that you are used to seeing and so really cool artwork on their uh on, on the card back but like the cards are, are are named for what's what you would actually draw and oh the fool lose ten thousand xp and you must draw again so okay so okay so the one side of the one side has the same art on all of them and it's this is really cool serpent dragon like things intertwined around a crystal that's that's pretty sweet and then each card has its own art and what the effect does right right now this is this is the the deck you're used to then there's the deck of many things uh the zero with edition and again same artwork so you can combine these all all together uh, change of alignment immediately. Immediately gain a map to richest treasure on any dungeon level. What, what are some of the names? Oh, uh, Ace of Diamonds, Ace of Clubs, Ace of Hearts. Oh, okay. So, so like, these are just these. Those are literally playing card names. Yes. You can add one point to any ability score you wish. Uh, help from a superhero with plus three armor, sword, shield, and sword for one hour when you call for him. You know, so like a bunch of different things that. Does I, it actually say help from a superhero? So I, I kind of don't like that, and I, I kind of don't like. So it's got superhero as one word, but I mean, you you could flavor that to be like, and anything that you want. Oh, it's a a legendary hero from the past. It could be well, an sure, guardian. Can do that, but we have a card here that says something. <laughs> I, it should, it, I, you know, I would have preferred if it says champion or hero mm -hmm. or legendary hero or or something something fantasy themed mm -hmm. and not like superhero, which is more of a modern term. I feel like the the other beef that I have with the cards is that. Instead of having cool names for for each of these, mm -hmm. it's just it's just one of the cards from a from a standard playing deck. Well, I think those are more of the ones that were in in the the old school because this is the the zeroth edition. So I actually think these are the ones from the old DMG. Okay, you like this is trying to simulate the DMG, but so. that, but even then, right? They were they all still had a name. Like like the ones here, they no, were I actually, actually think I think they you instead of using a tarot card, I think they were having you use a standard playing deck. Yeah, it had you use a standard playing deck, but ah. that represented the tarot deck, mm. which each card would have a special name to represent God. it. And I think, I mean, look, they went through the trouble of printing the words on here. They could have come up with something a little bit more thematic and interesting. That's true. So uh, that, that's my only that's my one beef so far. Well, in the even more things deck they actually did do that and this is the first one that i i opened off camera and here they've got a whole bunch of different cool things with a bunch of different effects you have the wind a powerful gust of wind throws you 15 foot into the air and 25 straight back uh this is my favorite one the tower all of your magical items are transported to the top of a magical tower a map appears in your hand showing you to its location the door, a portal opens before you. 1d20, opposite aligned outsiders exit the portal. The calling, a divine force calls to you to serve as, as its chosen one. Sleep, you and your companions gain regain health and abilities as though you had a full night's rest. 
sight, you and an ally can now see through each other's eyes for the next 1d4 hours. Uh, super powerful one, if you ask me. Rook, provided you are moving in a straight line with no obstacles in your way, you have an additional 40 foot of movement. A small rain cloud follows you wherever you go, drenching you for the next 1d8 days. And that's uh, Petrichor. Uh, that's a very odd name. Legion, 1d8 iron golems have been sent out by your enemies to hunt you and your companions. So, like, it's cool. I I, I like the flavor of, of this one in... Yeah, that, that actually works really well. I'm I'm holding here is the art of, and I believe this is probably this was probably just an extra from the Kickstarter. I don't remember if it was one of the things you could purchase on their site or not. It was okay. So you know, basically, if you just want the cards with the art on them, uh, the art assets that are these, and okay, so the art is a little hit and miss. Like some of it is really good, and some of it is so so. None of it's horrible though, and that you know that's my opinion. You guys, if you have it or get it, you can weigh in what you think so the deck of many more things uh is an expansion to the deck of many things each of these 28 full color art cards are brand new spell effect to make your game come alive uh, and it's all of these things are compatible with any version of you know the, a d20 fantasy game uh so this this is you know kind of cool winter all, all attacks do plus four cold damage trickster you are perpetually the victim of childish pranks from an unknown origin is there a duration on that winter no it just says all that well like the deck of many things is is always viewed as like there's things that are really phenomenally good things that are mm -hmm. really phenomenally bad and then somewhere in the middle so like all right you, know, you just doing an extra four cold damage to every single one of your attacks is kind of cool it's not game breaking but it's interesting. It, yes. It's it's interesting. The the will a distant relative leaves you a large estate. The song the drawer becomes mute. Should be the anti song. <laughs> <laughs> well, true. The rabbit base speed increases by twenty feet. That would work really well with the uh, the the rook, which gives you another forty, as long as you're moving in a straight line. Uh, the muse, the next mundane statue you encounter, becomes an intelligent golem. Labyrinth, the entire party is teleported to the center of a maze. Well, you know that that uh, the the golem one is really interesting, or the stat is a statue or golem. So I find it really interesting because it doesn't actually uh, the muse. So it doesn't actually say whether it'll be friendly or hostile. So it could go either way. Right. So if if it's like oh, if it's a statue on your own estate, then perhaps you now have a guardian. But, or, or a pissed off resident, one or the other. Depends on what your DM wants to do with that. And those kind of things are great because when things are open to DM's interpretation, yes, yeah, some DM's aren't sure how to handle that, but some DM's are going to be like, oh, I totally love this. I'm going to. Well, it. right. Or it could start off neutral, right? And like actually how you interact with it is going to determine how whether it's hostile or whether it's friendly. So that's all the decks. And what do we got there? We got four of them? Four of them. Yeah. So four of these you can combine. Uh, pretty much, they're pretty thematic. They're really cool. Uh, some of the art's nice. Some of it's so-so. So there's like a range there. Oh, three of the decks are all named thematically with each card, which I like. Uh, you know, I, I like the, the icon for the actual tarot decks themselves. I really only I really, really only have the one beef, and that is like the one deck. It just seemed lazy that they named them after standard playing cards. Right. Um, yeah, maybe some of you guys may not care that. That's just me personally. All they, told, all told, the four boxes contain eighty-eight cards, so that that's a lot of choices. And the way the way that they're actually set up is each one can be used as its own separate set of magic items. You know, like this could be a, a magic item, and you yeah. only draw from this deck. And you know, same, or you same can put the them others. all together and have one giant deck. Yes. So, uh, and they're not standard playing size. They're basically more. They're not quite the size of tarot cards either, but they're in between. So that's decent. That's kind of a cool thing. I, I think you can get. I, for, I forget how that breakdown is on their site. I, th I think the own, like, everything is, like, 95. Mm -hmm. And there's, like, uh, you got four there. There's seven decks all together. Yes, sir. Uh, so, and then they, they do have a bundle, and I forget what exactly the bundle is. I know it's $45. So the bundle is, I believe, three of them. I think mm -hmm. that gets you, like, either these three or these three. I forget exactly what it is. Just gemhammer.com. Go to their store page. You can You can check it out. Yeah. So then the other two decks are the Deck of Illusions, which is basically, the, I believe it's going to be the Simulate the Deck of Illusions from the DMG, 
And then you also have the Deck of Wonder. It contains 100 random spell effect cards, perfect for simulating wild magic, rods of uh, randomized magic, or as its own unique magical or artifact. So I may actually, I want to talk to, to Ryan and see how he feels about drawing from the Deck of Wonder for his wild mage. And so, uh, which I believe, actually, like, there's, there's like 50 options in the PHB anyway, mm -hmm. right? right? So it'll be, it'll be kind of close anyway. But, you know, so I'm thinking about, you know, implementing this. But I, I don't actually even know what's in there. And we have a sticker thingy. <laughs> Dave, Dave has been defeated by plastic and adhesive. Yes, yeah, so I cannot get in. I have failed my disabled device, which isn't a thing anymore. That's just Steve's tool. Thieves tools. That's what it is. I had, I don't have thieves tools. So I had to improvise. So uh, let's see. For this, that it has its own thing. It's kind of like a sigil. All right. So the artwork is the same. So it's now it's just a matter of what the random effect is. Your left, left, yeah, your left hand becomes sentient and hostile until morning. Uh, well, maybe these won't be good for a while. Magic effect, because <laughs> that's a pretty long time. You can fly until dawn. So two very uh, above yeah, yeah. the spectrum. All magic you cast for the next day is accompanied by bright rainbow sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Your weapons, your weapons deal an extra five fire damage for one day. The party is teleported to an elemental plane. <laughs> that's not good. That, that's, that's not good. Uh, and which would be the worst one, do you think? Fire. No one can see you or hear you for the next seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> a magical construct that looks like your mother appears. It follows you around, nagging you for 12 hours. That's it then sparkle. disappears. So I like some of these. Uh, would be fun for a wild magic effect, but they just last so long. Well, you could, you know, for your game, you could mess with the durations, or, you know, you could... Taylor go through the deck and say, okay, well, making sure you've got a, an equal split, you could pull out some of the ones that you don't particularly like or aren't thematic enough. Uh, your party transports 50 years into the future. Oh. Yeah, some of these would be really yeah, bad. That's... You successfully recast your most recent cast spell. Huh. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, all right, well, you, the, your most recent cast spell was fireball. You just fireball again. Mm -hmm. I was. I'm still stuck on the. Okay, we go. We go into the future fifty years. That means someone else either had to stop the Vargarians or the Vargarians kind of did what they said. They you, were yeah, doing. you come back and <laughs> everyone's a Vargarian. Like son of a bitch. Where do I go to get my upgrades? <laughs> <laughs> the shoes of everyone you can see suddenly fills with custard. Goblins would love that. <laughs> Turn to stone for six hours. So yeah, the. I like these. These are cool. You could add them in your game for different ways. I think the durations are really is a bit long for most of them to to be useful because you know it for for it, for some things this is going to be a lot of fun to use. And if you just want a random effect, you can go here. But again, some of them are really bad. You're probably going to have to go through and go. Well, do I really want them transported to another plane? Uh, do I want them to go into the future? And other things can just be comical, like, you know, the hostile sentient hand for a day. You know, it, you know, maybe it doesn't try and kill you or it doesn't really have the ability to kill you, but you're talking and it's like slapping you in the face and, <laughs> or doing other other obscene things or whatever. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, let's tie this sucker up. <laughs> Bind it to It doesn't have to be 100% Ash of the Evil Dead, you know, but it could be. <laughs> Oh, well, here's a nice one. Gain the resurrection powers of the phoenix. Now, like, like, like that one. It's like, all right. Well, that would be that'd be cool to give them once, right? Right. But like the way it's worded, it, you'd have to figure out how, what that means in your game. So, I feel like there's a lot of uses for the deck. There's a lot of inspiration here. Might need some tweaks. Uh, I would not shoot from the hip with this one. I do not believe. <laughs> but if you run that kind of game, go for it. Now. The, the 50 years into the future thing, I think that that's the that one and the elemental plane are the worst possible two of them, the ones we, we spot checked because they're not something you can easily deal with. Now, if you're an impromptu DM and you've got the ability to finagle stuff, well, then, you know, perhaps you can find a way back in time to the point that you left and that could be its own quest if you're teleported to you know the plane perhaps you could find a way to plane jump and all right you encounter some cool allies and some stuff happens and you now yeah you're 
main quest is derailed for a little while, but if you're not doing anything that's time sensitive, or even if you are, maybe you, maybe, you know, you're using that whole, uh, you know, time changes different, you know, your time on that other plane just doesn't take into effect any time on the plane you're coming from. As the DM, you have the ability to make these changes however you see fit. So yeah, okay, it took you two years to find your way out, out of the elemental plane of fire, and you've survived, and you've gained these things, and now you're back, but no time passed. How cool would that be? That brings us to the Deck of Illusions. I don't. I honestly don't know how I feel about this one. All right. Because it literally, it literally is uh, one side of the deck is just like the stylized um, eye. Yeah. The, yeah. Thing, which, all right. That it's, it's okay. That part's not neither here nor there. But on the other side of the card, it literally is just the name of a monster, and and some artwork. Now I actually dig all the artwork here. And, you know, it's not in color. Uh, and it's very, it's a very like kind of like uh, stylized and kind of like a, use a more like iconography than than like uh, like a uh, depiction of said creature. But it, that being said, I really like it, and and it's uh and there's there is some cool things on here. So if you wanted to incorporate incorporate it into your into your game, like one of the cards, Ogre Magi, Goblin, Medusa, so, yeah, so Mad Human Fighter, and four guards. So essentially what happens is you pull a card and you have an illusion of that card. Yes. So like when you pull out the Etten, you have an Etten to do with as you please. It just essentially just gives you something to have at the table for your players so they can throw the card down on the table. Right. And and you know gives them that. So it, it's kind of ha cool having access to a prop as opposed to having to roll a die and consult a chart. It expedites things. So I don't know. It's definitely useful. I'm not overly familiar with how the the Kickstarter thing went, so like that could have totally just been a stretch goal or an extra right. that, was, that was thrown together. It clearly does not have the the same color artwork and production value as the bigger cards, which that leads me to believe of that. But I also believe that if you want to just purchase that on the website, I actually think they're it has the the, the lower value or the low, lower price. Yeah, like ten so, bucks. Yeah, five. You know, so so then then it just goes well. How much do you want to invest in having the prop at your table? Right. I actually like the art on these better than some of the art on the bigger cards. So that part isn't is not a problem for me at all. I like the fact that it's kind of stylized, you know, it, it, it's, it's not in color, but whatever, it, they look cool. I agree. And, and, that, and you know, in, in some regards, the art on here is actually better than some of the, the pictures that I've seen on the full color cards. But, you know, again, would I spend $10 for the prop at the game? I don't know. You're going to have to determine. You now, if you're flush with cash and you don't care, maybe you will. Uh, some people rather just create their own thing or whatever. But, if you don't want to, uh, these guys have already done it for you, so th that's kind of cool. And also, we will be giving away a full set. We're gonna keep ones for ourselves. We got two, and the other one we're going to be doing a giveaway with. We don't know when yet, but we're gonna put it in the pile of giveaways, so you guys will be able to have these at your table, f and for free. I absolutely love them. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're, they're great. So thank you, uh, Jim Hammer and Son Gaming. Uh, it was really awesome. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely find some for, find some use for this at our table. Question is, what do you guys out there think? Did any of you back the Kickstarter? Oh, speaking of the Kickstarter, uh, you had just looked at it, right? Do you remember how it did? So the the Kickstarter raised just over ten thousand. It's like ten thousand hundred and fifty eight dollars, or you know, okay. something along the on the along those lines, which is a considerable amount for deck uh, based things. Um, so I, I don't know whether I had, I had seen the Kickstarter or not. I know I do a lot of stuff with it. I did see it. I actually considered backing it, but I I, I sadly did not. Uh, there's a lot of the Kickstarters like that. I'm like, am I going to? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I actually <laughs> I actually saw one today, and it was like, oh, well, do, you know, it's down to the last four hours. I got to I gotta make a decision, and I, I opted against it. Yeah. Well, first of all, I wanted to say congratulations to Game Hammer for Gem Hammer. Yeah, Gem Hammer Games for successfully doing the Kickstarter. We we really do appreciate you guys sending us the cards and and letting us look at them. You know, like I said, there's good, there's bad. The question is, you know, will you use them in your game? Are you using them in your game? 
ha were you one of the backers in the Kickstarters? Let us know in the comments below while you're at it. Like, share, and subscribe. You can patronize us in a good way over on Patreon. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.